Hello children, I hope you all are feeling happy and strong today. I welcome you to the special English hour. Today we'll sing, dance and listen to stories. Are you ready to have some fun? Come closer to the TV. And join me in a song. Pretty little penguins dance around the sea. But how do they dance? Come on, let's see. Right flipper, left flipper, and then up and down. One, two, three. And four. Three little penguins dance around the sea. But how do they dance? Come on, let's see. Right flipper, left flipper, right leg, left leg. One, two, three, and four. Pretty little penguins dance around the sea. But how do they dance? Come on, let's see. Don't forget to nod your head. Children, now we will be learning a poem, Mice. Please open your textbook to page number 33. Children, do you see this picture? What can you see in this picture? We can see two mice. What does a mouse look like? Mouse has two ears, some whiskers, Four legs and a long tail. And do you know the color of their ears? Their ears are pink in color. Now tell me, what does a mouse do? Mouse runs in our house from one place to the other. And do you know where does a mouse stay? Mouse stays in a hole. And do you know what is the other thing that a mouse does? Mouse nibbles on things. I believe we all have seen a mouse. And what do people do? When they see a mouse, they try to send it away. Let's have a look at few new words. The first word is M I C E Mice Mice, mice. The mice squeaked under the bed. The mice were hiding 
in the hole. The second word is L O N G. Long, long, long. Sheba has long hair. The third word is E A R S Years 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 We have two years. We hear from both our years. The fourth word is R U N Run 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 Rima will run and win the race. They run very slowly. The fifth word is N I B B L E Nibble 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 Mice nibble on everything. Deers nibble the grass and the bushes. Now Let's try to revise the words once again. The first word is mice. The second word is long. The third word is years. The fourth word is run. And the fifth word is nibble. Children, now... Let's read the poem Mice. Please open your textbook to page number 33. Let's get started. Children, let's read the poem Mice. This poem is written by Rose Fileman. I think mice are rather nice. Their tails are long. Their faces small. They haven't any chins at all. In this stanza, we saw that the poetess who has written this poem says that mouse are not so bad. They are nice. She explains about their appearance. She says they have long tail and they do not have a chin. This is how the poetess Describes the mouse. Their ears are pink. Their teeth are white. They run about the house at night. In this stanza, the poetess says that the mice have pink ears and they have white teeth. They roam in our houses in the night time. They nibble things. They shouldn't touch. And no one seems to like them much. 
but i think mice are rather nice in the third stanza the poet says that mice nibble on things nibble means they bite things that they shouldn't even touch and some people do not like mice but she thinks that mice are not too bad children now it's time for a fun activity we just read the poem mice let us try to match the words that go together let's see the columns children do you see long long goes with which word long tails now in the poem can you find the word small can you tell me which word will match with small correct small faces now let's try to find the word pink in the poem and also try to guess which is the word that goes with pink there it is pink ears now what do you think which word will go with the word white yes white teeth i hope you enjoyed this activity now it's time for another fun activity children on your screen you will be shown a group of words and you have to arrange them in alphabetical order what do you understand by alphabetical order the words should be arranged in a manner where the first letter should be in alphabetical order for example here can you see the word x we will put it in the first blank because it starts with the letter a sounds interesting let's get started now which is the word that we will put in the second blank correct we will put the word balloon because it starts with the letter p now in the third blank what do you think which word will we put in the third blank yes we will put the word clock now let's see which word we will put in the fourth blank correct we will put the word dog because it starts with the letter d now let's see the next blank can you guess which word will be put in the next blank correct we will put the word father because it starts with the letter f now let's see which word will we put in the next blank can you guess correct we will put the letter garden 
because it starts with the letter G. Now, which is the word we'll put in the next blank? Can you tell me? Correct. We will put the word hen because it starts with the letter H. Children, can you tell me which is the word we'll put in the eighth blank? Correct. We will put the word king because it starts with the letter K. Let's see which is the word we'll put in the ninth blank. Can you tell me? Yes, we will put the word mother because it starts with the letter M. Let's fill the next blank. Can you tell me which is the word we'll put in this blank? Correct. We will put the word peacock. Now, let's fill the next blank. Can you guess which is the word we'll put in this blank? Yes, we will put the word queen here. Let's fill the next blank now. Can you guess which is the word we'll put here? Yes, we will put the word school. Now, let's fill the next blank. Can you tell me which is the word we'll fill in this blank? Correct. We will put the word temple in this blank. Now let's see the last blank. Can you guess which is the word we'll fill in this blank? Absolutely correct. We will put the word Zebra here because it starts with the letter Z. Children, did you see the first letters of these words? Yes, they all are arranged in alphabetical order. I hope you enjoyed doing this activity. We all had a fun time learning singing and dancing today. It's now time that you sit back and enjoy while I tell you a wonderful story. But before we begin the story, I would like to know, did you ever feel like eating everything together? When I was small, my mother always told me not to eat lot many sweets together. But I didn't listen to her and my teeth were spoiled. The same way, today we'll read a story about a mouse. He wants to eat everything together. Let's see what happens in the story. The name of the story is the greedy mouse and this story is written by Harminder Ori. Let's start the story. One day, the mouse found a very big bun. I will take it to my house, said the mouse. The mouse pushed the bun from the back, but it did not move. He 
he pushed the bun from the front but the bun did not move now the mouse tried to push the bun from the right but the bun did not move now the mouse ran around the bun and tried to push it from the left but did the bun move no the bun did not move I will try to tie this bun with a string and pull it into my house said the mouse he went to his house and got the string but the string was really very small he couldn't tie the bun he then brought a longer string and tied it around the bun he pulled and pulled but did the bun move no the bun still didn't move the mouse was tired now he sat and started eating the bun the bun was tasty he began eating a little more then a little more and the bun became smaller and smaller in size he now pushed the bun into his house the bun smoothly rolled into his house the mouse was very happy because the bun safely reached his house but now the mouse had eaten so much that his stomach had become so so big let's see what happens now the mouse pushed and pushed himself into the house but he couldn't enter his own house because his stomach was very very big now now the mouse sat outside his door and he was really sad he groaned I should not have eaten so much bun. I should have shared it with someone he thought. In this story, we saw that the mouse had become greedy. He ate so much of bun all by himself and he faced so much of difficulty. his stomach became so big that he couldn't even enter his own house that is why we should never be greedy and we should always share our food with everybody i hope you enjoyed this story children today we read a wonderful poem mice You may read the poem a few more times from your textbook. I will see you in the next session. Until then, take care, stay safe and bye-bye.